Tromsø and Bode Glimt like always rivals because we are the only two teams uh, in the north. People from the north of Norway are quite similar. I thought they would do but they were not. They were just they just came running. Tromsø is our closest rival, like team, and that's nine nine hours in a car. What's the difference between southern Norway and northern Norway? No. Good morning. I'm currently on a bus, as you can see. I flew from Manchester to Oslo last night and then had breakfast this morning. Some highlight moments for my breakfast. Definitely the Norwegian brown cheese. I think it's pronounced brunost. brunost. It's like a caramel melt in your mouth. Creamy cheese, it's very delicious. The man next to me said, what are you doing with all those salad items and no hummus? And he was absolutely right. So I went up and got some hummus. Not as thick and creamy as back at home, but it was very light, very tasty. Um, but the standout for me every time I come to Norway is the coffee. The coffee here is it's as good as Italy. That's a compliment of the highest order, Norwegians, okay? My flight has in fact been delayed, but I found a couple of Norwegian clothes shops. I'm not that interested in the clothes themselves, but if I shop in a Norwegian clothes shop, will I become Norwegian and look Norwegian? Because that's what I'm interested in right now. So I've arrived in Boda and I believe every single one of these departures is another place in Norway. So if I needed to make an emergency getaway to Germany, couldn't do it. If the standard of Norwegian football fascinates you, then download the OneFootball app because you can watch all the Norwegian First Division matches for free, completely free. There's other leagues on there as well. So have a little nosy. Whilst you're there, OneFootball is the best app on the market for keeping up to date with the Premier League transfer news. All the done deals, the transfer rumours, it's all there in one place. It's really, really good. So thank you OneFootball for sponsoring this because this is really cool that I get to be here. Do you guys all have a, an English team or just just Norwegian? Yes. Uh, like Newcastle. Newcastle? Yes. Really? Newcastle, Liverpool, Tottenham. Oh, back at all says. I've, I've never quite been to a place like this before. It's only small. The population of Boda is 55,000. It's very small, but it's got a little bit of everything. It's just so unbelievably pretty. If I had a pound for every Boda glimp flag on this street, well, I'd have about six pounds. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'd only have five pounds. No, I would have six. There's one there just in the background. You have to believe me. And there's also one there as well, seven pounds. You just do not see this in England. Do you know what this is? It's called a bin. Use it. People back in England start using the bins more because there's the basic front <laughs> There's someone walking past looking at me thinking, what the heck? Why is she just sat pointing at a bin? I'm going to get it up because it is a little bit weird. In Norway, supporting a team is not just about the football club. It's about being a representative of the place where that football club belongs and looking after that place. What have I, what have I done to deserve this? What have I, what have I, what have I? I would just like to clarify, this is not an episode of The Simpsons and this is in fact all of the Boda Glimpse supporters queuing up to get into the stadium. We're nearly two hours before kickoff. How do you pronounce the stadium name, by the way? Asmira. Abs Asmira. As Asmira. I moved here uh, from uh, the south ten years ago, uh, but I've been a Boda Glimpse supporter all my life. My father and mother is from this area. I, I love Boda, this is where I'm from, so obviously it's like, yeah. What's the difference between southern Norway and northern Norway? People in the north are more warm. You can go around the city, just knock a door and they will take care of you, you know what I mean? All Norwegians are friendly, but more warm is probably the, the main word. What is, who, who goes in those pits there? That's apartments. Apartments? Yes. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Watching the football with all my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
1996, we met in Oslo in the cup final. Tromsø won that game 2-1, and I think that was kind of where the rivalry really started to be a serious thing. Tromsø and Bode Glimt like always rivals because we are the only two teams uh, in the north. So it's just like uh, a big brother, little brother uh, syndrome. So now we are the big brother, but it has changed over the years. Is it? Uh... This rivalry or? It's not like you see abroad. It's uh, it's hard to say because uh, me myself, uh, I don't like Tromsø, but I cannot say that I really really hate them. But if they get relegated, I celebrate. That's that's nice. And if we beat them, it's very good. If we lo uh, if we lose, then I'm probably gonna be mad for a couple of days. We all thought that Buda Glimpse scored in the 60th minute to equalise and I was looking at the supporters. Oh no, oh no, it's got even worse. It's got even worse. It wasn't a goal, it was side netting and now Trumzo has scored. It is 2 0 with only 30 minutes to go. The best side in Norway are currently losing 2 0 at home to their biggest rivals. This is amazing watching the two fans battle it out to try and take over the stadium. Of course, Trumzo are overwhelmed by the numbers of for the glimp. However, the Tromsø fans are very loud for the amount that's there. I still can't get my head around the fact that this is the, the nearest match for the Tromsø supporters to travel to. This is their local derby and it's just a, it's just a small matter of 350 miles away. There's a lot of teams in the south. We will always have to take a plane because there's there's no bus going here and between here and Trondheim. Wow. Imagine trying to take a firework into an English football ground. <laughs> I got told off because I still had the lid on my diet coat last time I went to an English football ground. No, I didn't. I just made that up for comedy purposes. <sighs> Full time. It's a race against time. This is my favourite thing. This is the best bit about Norwegian football. Number 19 was just planted. The Trunzo 
of like onto the pitch. A good old glimpse. Imagine a Liverpool flag planted at Old Trafford. That is a statement. What's it like playing in a game like this? Uh, no, I, in the days before, uh, people have been talking a lot uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> about the game, and uh, of course, it's a it's a serious rivalry. So it's uh, it's an extra. It means extra to uh, take uh, three points today. This entire stadium is empty, apart from one small section. <laughs> The connection between players and supporters of the region is a credit to the nation. It's a credit to what this country is all about. Tromsø is in the biggest city, so and uh, yeah, the um, what's it called in English? Uh, like the togetherness we have, mm. it's uh, it's really fantastic. The fans can come and watch trainings if they want to, and uh, yeah, it's just a, a really really nice uh, um, uh, yeah, relationship we have with the fans. So it's just fantastic. What's it like living so far up north in Norway? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yeah. It's cold and a lot of snow through uh, many months in the year, but uh, other than that, it's uh, fantastic. Where are you from? Oslo. Oh yeah, wow! I just came there, so uh, in wow. general, yeah. So it's uh, it's a bit of a switch, but uh, yeah. it's a nice city with very nice people. So I like it. How could anyone ever? feel sad and surrounded by such beauty. I might just not leave. Could live here forever. In England you could also leave your scooter on the ground like that. It'll just get stolen but you could do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm already Googling the next Norwegian fixture I can come to. Uh, if you guys have got any suggestions, then that would be amazing. It's currently 11 p.m. and it's so bright. You didn't tell me you, you were also in Norway.